What's up YouTube, I'm Cornish Ratbeard and welcome back into another Star Trek New Horizons video. So in this video I'm going to show you how to start a game as the Terran Empire on the Mirror Universe map and give you guys a little bit of an overview come review on the Terran Empire themselves. Now this can be quite deceiving as it's not an independent empire which you can choose from on the empire selection screen. So for some beginners this can easily be overlooked and you might even think to yourselves the Terran Empire isn't even in the game. So to be able to unlock the Terran Empire along with the Mirror Universe then please just follow these simple steps. After you've booted up the game and you are in the Empire selection screen you will need to pick the United Earth as your Empire to play as but don't worry you will still end up playing as the Terran Empire. Next. Head to the next screen which will be the settings menu. Here you can adjust your difficulty and other various things that can change your game dramatically. Up the top is where we pick our map. Push one of the side buttons until you find the mirror universe map. This is the one we want. With the United Earth selected and the mirror map mode on, you will start the game as the mighty Terrans in the ever crazy mirror universe. Now that that part is out the way and we are in the game as the Terrans, Let's go through a few things to make sure that you get off to a good start. First of all, you're going to notice that your empire colour is red, which obviously represents the vibrant warlike colours of the Terran Empire within its lore on Star Trek. I must admit, I think the colours, uniforms and the emblems all look fantastic and they really, really keep it canon here. We also have a lot more territory in which we start with, so keep that in mind. It's not just Sol that we have to deal with here. With more territory comes more responsibility. As the Terrans are a militaristic force, we will inevitably have tons of slaves going about our empire. This in turn leads to discontent and eventually revolts. One of your first major dealings as the Terrans is precisely this. We will get a scripted uprising that turns into a full-scale war between yourselves and the newly formed faction called the Coalition of Hope. Make sure you consolidate all your forces and brace for battle. After a while into the war, an event will fire which is absolutely fantastic. So if you can hold off until this event, you will find that things get a little bit easier for you during this war. No spoilers here though, you'll have to find out what that event is for yourself. Full credit to the development team for the beginning crisis and the events, they are very fun indeed. Once this is dealt with, things don't really get any easier for you, in fact, the onslaught has only just begun. You will find many empires really don't like you and if that's not enough, classic empires such as the Klingons, the Cardassians, the Romulans are all likely to make a giant coalition to try to take you on. I would suggest pumping as much time and effort into your military as quickly as you can or you simply won't survive the onslaught. Now with that in mind and a few more awesome scripted events later, you can survive this. I've done it. Once you become established in the galaxy, you will be such a powerhouse that you'll find that not even the Borg can stand up to you. The Borg also have a king and not a queen in this universe, which is a great little touch by the way. Oh, and in the mirror universe, you will literally find that all the Empire locations have mirrored. So for example, the Klingons start around the same location the Cardassians start in the usual prime universe, and the Romulans are also located to the northwest of you, not the usual northeast spot. This carries on for all the other empires within the mirror universe. This really mixes it up and gives you so many more hours of fun discovering and exploring. On top of that, all the big hitters have completely different personas which makes for such a unique and almost wacky playthrough. Well, my final thoughts on the Terran Empire are very, very positive. There has been so much thought put into this universe that it will keep you entertained for literally hours upon hours. The events are very well scripted and I never found myself in a dull moment. Things move along at a fantastic and fun pace. And as far as specific Empire ratings and playthroughs go, I would give this playthrough a solid 9 out of 10. And if you haven't played as them yet, then I highly recommend you go try them out right now guys. So that's it, a little tutorial mixed with my thoughts on the Terran Empire. I hope you enjoyed this video and my first little mini review. If you did then please leave a comment letting me know your thoughts and please also like it if you could and maybe consider subscribing for more Star Trek New Horizons content. If you wanted to chat with me on a more personal note then check out our Discord channel, links for that in the description below. Well that's it from me, live long and prosper, bye bye for now. Make it so.